All right, man, this is gonna be part two of a vitamin D video. I already made an entire vitamin D video, but this is something that is a follow-up because a lot of questions came in. A lot of guys were confused about certain aspects, so I'm gonna answer these questions for you one by one. Question number one is, how do I get my vitamin D? Well, there's multiple ways. The first thing to cover is, you don't get vitamin D. Your body produces vitamin D inside. It's actually a hormone. People call it a vitamin. The difference is, Vitamins you get from outside, you get them from foods, right? So vitamin A, vitamin B, vitamin C, you get them from foods. Vitamin D, however, is a hormone your body produces it inside. But the way it does that is by sunlight, okay? So one thing I do is I walk outside anywhere from half an hour to two hours every day. When I'm walking outside, I'm in a very walkable city, so I walk all the time, I get that sun. And because of that sunlight exposure, there is a UV rays when they trigger your skin inside your body, there is a process that produces vitamin D. Now, if you don't have that luxury of walking all the time, maybe you can just do 15 minutes top of your body and 15 minutes back of your body, like so stomach side, back side, 15 minutes each side, full body in the sun, you know, get that tan. So that is also something amazing that you can do. Now that will depend on where you are in the world. If you're in Brazil, it'll work really well. Whereas if you're in other parts of the world that are not so much where the equator is, then you will not get the same effect. So for that, what I do is take vitamin D supplementation. Okay, so what I do is I take 5,000 IUs per day. And I'm gonna get into details of that very soon. Now the next question is, are you using liquid supplements or, or non-liquid? Always liquid. I've used liquid for the last five years. Next, which one is better and why? Liquid is better. The way it works is pills are the worst. Liquid is second best and powder is the best. There's no vitamin D powder out there, but liquid is good enough. Why? Because when you, when, when you put a drop on your tongue, the digestive juices inside your gut, inside your stomach, in inside your intestines get activated because of those test but the taste buds inside your tongue are connected. Those nerves are connected to the rest of your body, that secondary brain, you know, the gut that you call it. So that is why liquid supplementation is much better because it's absorbed, it's digested by your body a lot better. And obviously you know from Afro-D, uh, the, you know, the knowledge you have of Afro-D, you know that it's a powder because when you take a powder, you masticate, right? You're using your jaw, you're masticating, and you're chewing the powder and that activates the digestive system, that activates the absorption system even better. It's the best way to take anything, it's powder. Next. What's your dosage? 5,000 I use per day. Now, in the past, when I had chronically, chronically, clinically, drastically low vitamin D levels, I was taking 10,000 I use. I did that for one to two months. You know, I did it for one month. I got my test taken again. It was still low. I did it for another month. Then the vitamin D was good enough. It was in the reference range. And then I kept 5,000 I use until today. I've been doing it for the last five years. The brand I use is either Athletic Greens. I actually had my parents buy it in America and mail that to me. I paid a fortune just to get the right brand of Athletic Greens, vitamin D drops to be mailed to me. There's also a vitamin K2 in there. So when you get vitamin D, make sure it's vitamin D3 and vitamin K2 together, the right dosage, and most companies know what to do because vitamin K2 will increase the bioavailability of vitamin D3. So that's why vitamin K2 is in there. Um, so that's what I recommend. The second company, if you don't have Athletic Greens access, is Thorn. I, when I was in Bali, when I was in Sweden last year, I was using Thorn, and that worked really well as well. So these are the two companies I trust, Athletic Greens and Thorn, for my vitamin D. And the last question was, which, what, what's the measurement of vitamin D? Like, how high should it be? Now, a lot of guys have this wrong myth you know, this, this, this myth, this wrong notion that you need to increase your vitamin D as high as possible. Not the case. Because in my particular story, whenever my, so most recent blood tests when my bioavailable testosterones were off the charts, it was above the reference rate, just alpha level testosterone levels, my vitamin D wasn't like very high or very toxic levels. It was in the middle. It was in the middle of the reference range. So instead of thinking of numbers when it comes to vitamin D, for testosterone, you need to think of numbers for sure. But for vitamin D, what you need to do is look at the reference range for your doctor's office, look at that reference range, and be in the middle somewhere. If you're towards the high end, that's okay. But don't try to think, oh, I'm gonna try to get it as high as possible, because you, look, we don't really know this, this hasn't, there hasn't been enough research on this, but 
maybe very high vitamin D levels can be toxic. Maybe. Okay? So some people will tell you no, you can increase vitamin D as high as you want, but in my experience, in the experience of the guys in the Aphrodite Academy, you want vitamin B, vitamin B, vitamin D to be somewhere in the middle of that reference range. Make sure it's not low, for sure. And make sure it's not too high or toxic. Because I know when my vitamin D levels have been very high, and they've been very, very high. My testosterone wasn't that high. It was around the average, uh, you know, average range. Now, I've actually written an entire article about vitamin D on the Aphrodite Academy website, so go read that as well. I uh, highly, highly recommend it. Uh, that's what I wanted to tell you, man, today. If you want to learn how to increase your T levels naturally, you want to learn more about vitamin D, click the links below, it's all there. Um, you can also learn about Afro-D, you can learn about how to increase your T levels using Afro-D. All those links are available down below. Click on them, learn about it. Go increase your T levels, man. Go take charge of your life. If you have any questions at all, let me know. I'm here for you. I'll see you later, bro.